September 9th, 9.52 a.m. District Court, Defendant Lobby Number 1. Well, I guess this is it. Yeah. One way or another, this case gets decided today. Ah! Phoenix, look! <laughs> Prosecutor Edgeworth? I received a call from the chief prosecutors from the chief prosecutor's office yesterday. Okay. I was told that whatever Miss White said, Mr. White says today, it will be an absolute truth. No matter how you try to attack his testimony, if you raise an objection, I have it on good faith that the judge will listen to me. What? Does White have the judge in his pocket too? So, you're saying I'm going to be guilty in the story? I would do anything to get my verdict, Mr. Wright. Anything? Well, I hope you can sleep at night. That's all I... Why? Why? How can you torment an innocent person like this? Innocent? How can we know that? Bruh. The guilty will always lie to avoid being found out. There's no way to tell who is guilty and who is innocent. Yes, there is! All that I can hope to do is get every defendant declared guilty. So I make that my policy. It's worth... You've changed. Hmm? Phoenix, you know him? Don't expect any special treatment, Phoenix, right? Phoenix? Well, court will be starting soon. What? But wait! Your defense attorney isn't even here yet! They're not! I'll be defending myself. What? Okay, let's do this. That's the best option. Because then I don't have to worry about some scummy defense lawyer fucking up. September 9th, 10 a.m. District Court. Courtroom number one. <laughs> Court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Phoenix Wright. Prosecution is ready, Your Honor. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Mr. Wright, are you sure you're up to doing this? Yes, Your Honor. I will be defending myself. Understood. Very well, Mr. Wright, your opening statement, please. As the details of the event are already quite clear to the court. Uh, today we will hear the testimony of the of a witness to the defendant's crime. I see. Prosecution may call it to witness. That went far too smoothly. Why didn't the judge ask Edward why it's was witness and testified before? It's like, it's like he already knows why. Hmm, if anyone's going to raise an objection about this, I suppose it's me. No, we're gonna let it go. Forget it, I smell a trap. I would like to call Mr. Red White to the stand. Please state your full name. You wish to know the title of my personage. Oh, give me a break. Er, your name. Yes, that is what I said. Oh dear, do my locations confuse? Name! These two are great together. My name is Red White, but my friends call me Blanco Nina. I wanna slam my head into a wall. I am the CEO, or use, or to use a more common term, the president of Blue Core. Did you know the victim, Miss Maya Fay? That would be a negatory. I oh, know I did not. You were at the Gateway Water Hotel the night of the murder. Correct. And you witnessed the murder from there. Ahem. Why well, tell you what you already know? Very well, Mr. White. You may begin your testimony. I can't rip this guy's testimony apart. It's over. Why do I always feel like it's going to be the end of the world? It's the end of the world on the last man standing. Ho, ho, ho. I hope you have made your peace with God, Mr. Lawyer. Huh? Let him have it, Phoenix. I'll try. <laughs> we'll see what he says. Let's see. It was about 9 o'clock, I believe. I was quietly perfusing, er, that's reading to you, some papers by the window. Then I heard a bedlam coming from outside. 
Surprised, I turned to the window. I turned to look at the win at the building across the way. It was then I saw him, a spiky-haired man attacking a woman with long hair. Needless to say, that man was other than you, Mr. Lawyer. I called Miss May over at once. She too was five of acid. The victim, she, she ran away. But you gave chase. I can press him on that. Finally, there was a terrible impaction, and it was all over. Hmm, if, that thing, if things occurred as testified, then I'm afraid the defendant is guilty. Very well, defendant, er, I mean Mr. Wright, your cross-examination. Yes, Your Honor. I can press him on the way she ran, and then I might be able to catch him if he's his left. Can you be a little more detailed about that? I think it's worth knowing exactly what happened. Of course. Comprende. I understand. The victim was attacked by you and ran to the left. Okay, we got him. You gave chase and struck her down. Are you sure? As you know, I am always up so positively perfect. Perhaps you could change your testimony to reflect this new detail. I got him. Objection! Right, right there. Mr. White, you've dug your own grave. Grave. What is this? You said the victim ran to the left. But that directly contradicts Miss May's testimony. She clearly stated that the victim ran right. Oh, ho, ho. It is simple. You have misheard her. I think not. Look at the floor plans. The killer was here. The victim was here. If the victim ran to the left, as she claimed she did, she would have been running directly away from the door. She would have been running into a dead end. Don't you find that odd? Got him. Look at his little pussy ass face. Very strange. I did see her run to the left. I did. Phoenix, look at his face. I don't think he's lying about this one. True. Maybe he really did see the victim run to the left. So he did witness the killing. Wait a second. Mr. Wright? Yes, Your Honor. Miss May says right, and Mr. White says left. Can you explain this contradiction? To the left makes sense though because of the, there's clearly a struggle. As Mr. White has testified, Mia ran to the left. But but if that's the case, why would she run in the opposite direction from the door? She did not. She was running towards the door, Your Honor. Not at all. She, I, obviously, the witness was not viewing the crime from the hotel! <laughs> Mr. Wright, what do you mean? Yes, what do you mean he's not viewing the crime from the hotel? If he was not in the hotel, where could he have been? In the lofts of Faye and Co, of course. <laughs> More specifically, he was standing here. Time to show the court where Mr. Wright was standing. Alright, there. Because if you're if you turn around and she runs towards the door, she's running to your left. If you look away from your screen right now. So that's where he was. This is where he was. Look! When the victim ran for the door, if he was watching this from this point, to him it would appear that she ran to the left. Please, this is no time for jokes and ill taste. This is where the killer was standing. Order, I will have order. Any disturbing, anyone disturbing the order of this court will be held in contempt. Mr. Wright, what are you suggesting? R rascallion The postulations of this defense are a distortion of the truth! Good lord, that was a mouthful. Indeed, they do seem a bit far-fetched. Ha <laughs> ha oh. You provide us with so much entertainment, Mr. Lawyer. 
What now? He's laughing. The hilarity of the moment made me remember something. It appears I have been unclear, and for this, I apologize. Mr. Your Honor. Maybe I'll allowed to testify once more. Very well. Let's hear your revised testimony. Good luck. You can't fix a broken testimony, buddy. Let's see what he says now. Miss May's testimony was correct, as was mine. When you assaulted the girl, she first ran to the left. And then you hit her savagely. That is what I saw. Next, with the last of her strength, she ran to the right. You chased her and delivered the final blow. That is what Miss Mayma saw. You see, you hit her twice. Don't you remember, Mr. Lawyer? Hmm, that does seem to make sense. Will you be cross exam- Yes! You bet I will. I mean, yes, Your Honor. So you were watching both times? I suppose I was, and please excuse me for not testifying to this sooner. What do you think, Phoenix? I think we've got him right where we wanted. Right where we want him. He slipped. Let him laugh for now. I'll soon wipe that smile off his face. I hope this isn't wrong. Mr. White? The victim died from a single blow. Yes! Let's go. What do you have to say to that? Uh, uh, Now's my chance to hit him where it counts. Mr. White, wasn't it you who told this court you were abs abso positively perfect? Hmm. <laughs> I will refrain from using this phrase from now on. Your Honor, if you could ask the witness for a new testimony. The witness is obviously confused, Your Honor. I would like to request a 10 minute break. Yes, yes, quite. Objection. The witness is confused because he's lying. I emphatically request that there be no break, Your Honor. Yeah, we want justice. Yeah, fuck him. Don't let him get away. Very well. If the witness would care to revise his testimony. Crowds on my side. No slipping out of this one now, White. Mr. White? Uh, okay. I got him. He, I have him right- I have him backed into a corner. Um, well, see, I looked at the other window when I heard the thing fall. Then, the next moment, I saw Miss Maya run to the left. What thing fall? The killer, you, attacked her, but she dodged. Um, and then, she turned and ran to the door. Then you did it with a single blow. Thwap! Wait. Hmm. <clears throat> Thwap indeed. Very well. You may begin the cross examination. Mr. Your Honor, my stomach, you see, it's hurting. Deal with it. This is almost over. Hmm. When I heard that, what fall? You heard that thing fall? What exactly was that thing? Huh? Oh, oh, that. Um, the glass light. Fuck. Right. The one that had fallen over at the scene. Phoenix, doesn't something about that strike you as odd? Yeah, that is odd. I'll press further. Mr. White. Huh? Wh what? You're saying that you saw the glass light stand? Y yes. Then change your testimony to reflect that. This is sorry, my bad. The witness will revise his testimony yet again. I was lying on the floor when I looked. Then the next moment.
But it's still to the right. Objection. Your Honor, that statement contradicts this evidence. It does? I don't see it. What? Fucking bitch. That's fine. I have him. I have his ass. Mr. White. It was impossible to you have seen the glass stand. <laughs> yes! <laughs> what? Look at this. These are the floor plans of the scene of the murder, yes? Correct, Your Honor. Now, look. If you were to look through the window at the office, this is the area you would be able to see. Here. Well, note that the stand is not within the visible area. Well, Mr. White? What do you have to say to that, bitch? Uh, uh, ridiculosity. Mr. White, if you were in the Gateway Hotel as you claim, you could not have seen the stand before it fell over. In fact, you wouldn't have been able to see it after it fell either. There's no way you could have recognized the broken shards as a glass light stand. So when you did see the stand, Mr. White. So when did you see the stand, Mr. White? It must have been the moment it fell. And the only place you could have seen that from is inside the Fay Law offices. In other words, you were at the scene of the crime when the murderer took place. Yeah! Mr. White? Mr. White. You did it, didn't you? Mr. Your Honor? I, I, Miss Mia. <laughs> Looks like we're about to get out our get out our verdict. Objection! What? That's far enough, Phoenix Wright. What do you want, Edgeworth? What? Uh, I forgot about Edgeworth. Mr. White? I think the time has come. Shouldn't you confess your crime now? Hmm. Wh what? I said you should confess your crime. Ergo, confess that you placed the wiretap. The, the what? You're a cunt, Edgeworth. Order, order, God. Mr. Edgeworth, explain to the court what you mean by this. Distinguished members of the court, Mr. So White is slightly confused. Allow me to explain. I really don't like where this is headed. As you know, Mr. White is the CEO. The order to secretary, Ms. April May, to tap the law office Ms. Fay. What does that have to do? Your Honor, the question is, when was the wiretap placed in the office and by who? No, you wouldn't. Mr. White, in order to place the wiretap, you entered Ms. Fay's office. Am I correct? C correct! You are most correct, Miles! Give me a break. Yeah, so in order to place the wiretap, I breached the Fay and Low Fay and Co. law offices. This is when I saw that I cursed with light stand. Now I'm confused. Please explain to the course of what this all means, Mr. Edgeworth. Fucking hey. Glad that your honor. Mr. Phoenix Wright has made his position quite clear. Yes, determined that Mr. White knew the glass stand was in the office. He has shown that there was only one time Mr. White could have seen the stand, at the very moment of the murder. Thus, Mr. White could, would like you to believe that Mr. White was the murderer he is. I see. However, it is a fact that Mr. White had been in the office well before the murder took place. When he went to place the wiretap, he could have seen the glass stand then. Ergo, Mr. Phoenix Wright theory is revealed for the basis conjecture it is. 
Mr. White, you will testify to the court about this wiretapping. Ahem, leave it to me. I... I feel faint. Fucking goddammit. It was the beginning of September, the week before the murder. I had entered the Fay and Co. law offices. Of course, I had done so to place the wiretap. This is when I saw this lights, glass light stand. Hmm. So, you saw the stand before the night of the incident. And this is how you're able to identify what had fallen over. By the sound. Correct, that is right. I see. Very well, Mr. Wright. You may cross-examine. What am I supposed to do now? Good luck, Phoenix. What the fuck? Do, do you have proof? Ah, oh. the simple man knew that knew the details of Miss Faye's phone conversation. This proves the wiretap was placed before the murder. Huh. <laughs> All right. Damn, there's nothing for me to press him on. Oh well, maybe he's rattled enough I can bluff something out of him. How'd you get in? Was it really you that went into the office? Or was it Miss May? Oh, God damn it! Identified fingerprints several days old were found in the Fane Co. They were obviously Mr. White's. And if I know Edgeworth, he's already run a check on those prints. Now, Mr. White, tell us why you went to the Fane Co. Why did you tap Maya's phone? This has no bearing on the current case, Your Honor. Blue Corp is a detective agency of sorts. We have a responsibility to protect client confidentiality. Why did you notice something as innocuous as a light stand? The light stand was made entirely out of glass. It was quite stylish, so I guess it made a lasting impression on me. Such a beautitious thing deserves attention, does it not? That is all. Damn it. I already did that one. Uh oh. Don't tell me I've run out of ammo. I can't press him on anything! Tisk tisk. I'm afraid that's as far as you go, Mr. Wright. Time has come for you to admit your defeat. You fought honorably. If you don't stop doing that dumbass bow, no more. I can't take this anymore. That's right. Are you giving up? N yes, Your Honor. Phoenix! Huh? Phoenix, over here! I know that voice. M Mia? Never give up, Phoenix. The fuck? Am I, I must be going crazy. <laughs> Ghost! Where, where am I? The waiting lobby. What happened? Oh, right. I lost the trial. I was hallucinating. <laughs> ah, you're finally awake. Got caught in an imperial ambush, just like that horse thief over there. Hey, you. You're finally awake. You were trying to cross the border, right? You walked right into that Imperial ambush. Same as us. And that thief over there. I mean, what? God! Go, 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 go! Ghost! <laughs> hey, Phoenix! Jack? That's no way to greet an old friend. Phoenix, I want you to look at me. I mean, I'm looking, but not at your face. <laughs> Phoenix, I that okay, that confuses me. <laughs> it's half Mia, half Maya. 
It's a hybrid. You're, you're, M Maya? You didn't know the Fae women. Didn't you know the Fae women have strong psychic powers? When you accepted your defeat in court, it appears that there was enough of a shock to awaken Maya's true powers. So, Maya is channeling you, Mia? That's right, I am Maya, but I'm also Mia. Now, I want you to listen to me, Phoenix. Maya never gave up. You can't either. That's what I came here to tell you. But... You don't have much time, Phoenix. Now listen. You've already won. Huh? You have that receipt in the court record, right? Well, yeah. Oh yeah, the one you wrote Maya on. Phoenix. White wrote that, not me. So, so, so what do I do with it? Look at the front of the receipt. The front? The regular receipt. Looks like it's from a famous department store. One million dollars. Wow, big spender. Item. Glass light stand. Data purchase, September 4th. Oh, fuck me arse. September 4th! That's right, Phoenix. I bought that stand the day before I was killed. That glass light stand was a million dollars? I hope that's not USD. Jesus. Whoa. Now, what did Mr. White say in his testimony? That was the beginning of September, the week before the murder. He said he saw the stand the week before the murder. There you go! I think the court is about to reconvene. Go do it, Phoenix. You know you're innocent now, I just have to prove it. Right! September 9th, 1.16 p.m. District Court, courtroom number one. She's still half Mia. Court will now be convened for the trial of Mr. Phoenix Wright. Is the defendant, rather. Are you all right, Mr. Wright? Yes, sorry, Your Honor. I'm fine now. Then, let's start where we left off. Your Honor, there is nothing left to go back to. There is nothing to go back to. The cross-examination of Mr. Wright is finished. All that is required now is for you to pass judgment on defendant Phoenix Wright. Hmm. Your Honor? Please, give me one more chance. I promise you, this is the last time I'll ask you. Hmm. But, as Mr. Edgeworth has noted, the trial is more or less finished. Mr. Edgeworth, do you have any opinion on this matter? I say, let us give Mr. Phoenix Wright his last chance. Very well. You may begin your cross-examination. Got him. Objection. Look closely at this. See the word Maya written in blood? Bah! <laughs> You're grasping! I think not. Look at the other side of the receipt. The, the other side? Your Honor, would you tell the court what is written on the other side of that? Receipt. Hmm. Well, a glass light stand. And the date of purchase. Why, that's the day before the murder. You see, Mr. White, you and your legend, the end of Fang Co. at the beginning of September. The stand could have not have been there. Gah! Well, Mr. White, can't get out of this one now, can ya? No. It's impossible! Uh-oh, he's losing it. Well, Your Honor, I understand there must be quite a bit of pressure on you. But I think you'll agree you can't judge me guilty under these circumstances. Very well. Then, that is all for the trial of... Objection! Bruh. What do you want? Not so fast, Phoenix, right? Yeah? What? No way he can worm his way out of this one. Oh wait, I forgot. It's Edgeworth. <laughs> There's a certain threat of logic to the defendant's claims. However, there is no concrete proof that Phoenix Wright is innocent. There we go. I would like to request one more day before Phoenix Wright is granted his freedom. 
I need time to make one more inquiry into this matter. Hmm. Another inquiry? <laughs> it means forge evidence on my ass. This isn't going to be another one of those updated autopsy reports. This guy just makes up evidence as he pleases. This is bad. No, we're gonna object. Mr. Wright's guilt is obvious. There's no need to prolong this trial any further. Hmm. Well, Mr. Edgeworth? If anyone was going to call Mr. Wright to trial, it would be me, the prosecution. I need a day to ascertain whether these new claims have any basis in factual evidence. Hmm. I see. Objection denied. Fuck! <sighs> The completion of trials right or the tr Jesus. The completion of the trial for Mr. Phoenix Wright will be postponed until tomorrow. No, there's no telling what happened if I can't end this now. That truth is sure to come up with or just make something up. And after Maya showed up to help me in after all. Mr. Your Honor, may I go home? Of course. Thank you for your time. Yeah. The witness will stay. M Mia? Phoenix, read this note out loud. Mia, what's this? No, Steve. Your Honor, if I may, you're quite persistent today, Mr. Wright. You bet I am. My life is riding on this one. I have something I could like. I would like to read to the court. The memo Mia had given me was a list of names. Many of them sounded strangely familiar. People in finance, famous celebrities. That's when it happened. So stop! The test halt! But please, stop! Make him stop! How? How did you get that list? Mr. White? Admit your guilt right here, right now. Or else this list will be released to the press. I confess. I confess. I did it. I hit her. I hit Miss Mia with the thinker. Case closed, Your Honor. Well, I see no reason to continue this trial. Mr. Wright? Yes, Your Honor. You've done it again. That was quite a spirited defense. Yes, Your Honor. I guess you could say that. If only you knew how spirited it was. Hmm, well, this court finds the defense. Ahem, uh, rather, the defendant makes the freedom right. Not guilty, bitch! Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate all your support. That is all. This carrot is adjoined. September 9th, 224. District Court, defendant lobby number one. Well, I never thought I'd be saying this again. But congratulations, you're lucky I was born a fae. I'm lucky I had both you and Maya on my side. I'm glad you made it. Thank you, Phoenix. You risked a lot to help me, and Maya. I won't forget it as long as I live. As long as you live? My time here is running out. Huh? Maya's powers are still weak. I can't stay here that long. What? No! There's still so much to say! Don't worry, I'm sure we'll meet again. Chief! <laughs> I'm not the chief anymore. Phoenix? Can you come to the office tonight? Say, 9 o'clock. The office? I'll see you later. Chief! Mia! September 9th, 9.02, Faye and Co. Being here, it's hard not to think about that night. You came! Mia? I was kind of worried you might not. Huh? Of course I came. Well then, I'm pretty hungry. How about a burger? M Mia? <laughs> you should see your face. Mia! What are you talking about? It's me, Maya. M Maya? What, did I look like my sister? Look like? You were her! Hmm, I might be able to use that. Oh, Phoenix, go to the store and buy me lunch, would you? 
Um, Maya, why are you here? Because of this. See, Maya wrote me a letter. Take care of Phoenix for me. Take care of, huh? She means the office, this office. Someone has to help with the new right and co-law offices, right? And who better but me? Maya Faye, reporting for duty. Wait, no. On second thought, let's make this casual. Yo, Nick! Maya here! <laughs> Ready to get down to business, bitch! <laughs> you? Don't mind me calling you Nick, do you? That's a great name. Maya said that's what you that's what your friend Larry calls you. Nick? You know what this means? We're partners! Ah, that would be nice to have a partner. You know, when I think about it. It is Maya's fault that I'm here now. But, if it wasn't for her, I'd probably be in jail. Right in co law offices. It's gotta get a ring to it. Yeah, thanks, Maya. Aw, oh, damn, that's sad as fuck. Good luck, Phoenix. I'll always be here, watching. Right! Okay, Nick, let's do it. Huh? I'd say what? Burgers, dummy! Burgers! It's a great burger joint just down the street. Come on, time's a wasting. Okay, wait up! The end. So that was the end of episode two. Next episode will be. Turnabout Samurai. Holy shit, look at that art. God damn. Alright guys, I'll catch you all in the next episode.